Hello everyone, this is HSS here, back with some more Emba League! Not heroes, but we're gonna be calling them heroes anyways. That is right, it is time for some Emba League! And this time it is going to be all units do half damage. I'll talk about that in just a second, but I am gonna go ahead and introduce our players up in the top left side. It is going to be Bunny! And his opponent, down to the bottom right side, is going to be Complexity QXC. They're actually doing a little bit of smack talk already. Uh, please, guys, go tweet at them. I'm going to be putting their Twitters down below. And just go say, hey, thanks for playing in Imba League. Uh, if you liked it, tell them so. If you hated them, tell them so. Either way, go tell them thank you. And uh, big thanks to the map editor, Mike Zettel. He is the one who's been making all the maps. His Twitter is also going to be down below. Because without the players, without the map creator, I uh, wouldn't be able to make Imba League. So big thanks to them. And uh, apparently they're uh, saying they started their own team. But it does look like Bunny's going to go ahead and expand. Actually, both these guys are going to go ahead and expand right now. So we are actually going to be seeing quite the macro game. Now, uh, I do want to explain the map premise a little bit to you guys. This one is going to be all units do half damage. So it, it's basically like if every unit was a sentry, essentially. They basically do no damage. And uh, the reason I decided to go ahead and go with this one, number one, you guys recommended this. So if you have any other suggestions, please post them down below. I, I only have so many good ideas in my head. But uh, either way, I was talking to a couple of personalities. I don't know if they want me to put them on blast or not. I was talking to a couple of personalities and uh, players, and they were saying, I wonder what StarCraft would be like if everything in the game didn't do so much damage. I mean, if you think about it, like, everything does so much damage. Psy Storm, Colossus, uh, just big balls of Marine and Marauder. And every ability in the game, again, this wasn't my original idea, but I don't want to put them on blast either. But, uh, wait, wait, here we go. We got the SCB harassment. <laughs> <laughs> you can see 2.5 damage there, Peace. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. We're back. All right. So they uh, they do very little damage. Each unit here has their damage halved. It's actually just a debuff you put on everyone, which is negative 2.5 damage. Uh, and on the other units, you will see that uh, it does indeed have it. But anyways, I thought this uh, discussion we had was actually really intriguing because if you kind of compare Brood War to StarCraft 2, there's a lot more abilities in StarCraft 2 that are all about doing extra damage. Uh, Stim Pack, for example, is all about doing extra damage. Fungal Growth is all about doing extra damage. Psy Storm, tons of damage there. And uh, a lot of the upgrades are all damage-based. So I wanted to see what happens when... Uh, you <laughs> oh, yeah, he's going to be doing no damage to these rocks. Holy God. And uh, he's going to be trying to kill those off. But anyways, and I, I got to thinking, you know, I wonder what it would be like if uh, that three armor. But I wonder what it would be like if units did not die as quickly as they do in StarCraft 2. Because units really do die quicker in StarCraft 2 than they do in Brood War. A lot of that has to do with the new spells and uh, a really high emphasis on damage output. Like Immortals, for example. Uh, they just do so much damage if you're targeting an armored unit. So I wanted to see what happens if the units die much more slowly and what are the battles actually going to look like. I honestly have no idea, so uh, I'm, I'm pretty excited to find out. Either way, we're going to be having a starport right here. He is slowly working down those rocks. This Marine over here. Uh, this is almost more realistic. Look how slow it does the damage. It's like every third shot, it actually does one damage there. And you can see right here that uh, they do have a negative three damage debuff on them. So we should actually most likely be seeing some sort of crazy macro game. And the interesting thing about this is that if you go into a battle and you don't realize right away that you actually cannot win that battle, then uh, you, you have a chance to actually retreat here. So like right here, for example, the, one of those Hellions would have been dead, but a lot of the Marines would have been dead as well. So do they, the players have more time to think about exactly what it is they want to do. Uh, they can focus on their micro a little bit more and uh, try and figure out how can they use certain abilities that are going to uh, do more or less damage. So we'll see. I don't honestly know if a uh, Seeker Missile and stuff like that does extra damage or half damage or whatever it does. I don't know. That is why it's Imba League, man, because you just got to kind of figure it out as you go. He's still working on those rocks. Oh, my God. Hellions over here literally doing no damage to these buildings. But uh, it is going to be kind of a slow start right now because we have the Marines and we have the Hellions going at it here. But really, no one's going to die anytime soon. Overall, I think we've only lost one worker. Oh, Marine actually dies there. Uh, he decides to throw down his spud gun. And, 
Yeah, that's basically what they're shooting at this point, just because they do absolutely no damage. But uh, there's going to be a Hellion over here as well. Looks like Bunny is actually going to go ahead and be completely walled in at this point, whereas QXC deciding just to begin working on his coolant tower there with the one Marine, and QXC is going to be the one scouting around. Now, again, guys, I'm going to put everyone's Twitter down below. I think I mentioned that already, but I kind of had a giggle fit for a little bit. Uh, we are going to be seeing double engineering bays on the way. We will see if those upgrades heavily benefit from that or not. Oh, my God, a battle cruiser. Oh, QXC. Oh, my God, how I love you. He's going to be going for a battle cruiser already. I honestly don't know. Because uh, the Battle Cruiser doesn't really do that much damage. You do have Vikings on the way for Bunny. He also is going to be having a Raven here, which uh, we'll see if the Seeker Missile does half damage or not. I honestly don't know. And we do have the SCVs kind of repairing up these Hellions right now. Got to be going for the armor right away. He realizes that the upgrades for attack may not be as useful. So it is going to be an armor upgrade right away. And uh, we'll see if he decides to scan down there. Why is it so hot in my apartment? Oh, my God. It is sweaty as hell in here right now. That's probably actually just me. But uh, they're trying to see, have you killed off any of the rocks just yet? Nope, still working on them there. And the Sea Chank is going to be joining in, but he loses 25 damage versus Armored. Still going to be doing us a pretty good DPS there. Bunny saying the tank is going to work, which is true. And down goes Rock. Now, what's hilarious is that was 500 HP. Now they have 2,000. They have 2,000 HP once they eventually fall down. And uh, that means that those aren't going anywhere anytime soon. Now, the only thing for Bunny is that he needs to make sure that he actually prepares for Battle Cruisers, Battle Cruiser Operational. I feel like in the league, one of the, uh, one of the characteristics of a map should be you're playing against QXC because he's always going to do absolutely silly stuff like uh, rushing towards Battle Cruisers. Now, Sea Tank's over here uh, not going to be able to shoot off those Hellions just yet. Now, uh, Bunny does have a lot of Marines. He's still working on getting out more Marines, but he definitely needs to be scanning his opponent pretty soon. Uh, I hope for his sake that he ends up scanning that Battle Cruiser and spots it. The Hellions in the middle ready to go. Vikings actually going to be moving out right now. And we are going to be having a Viking versus Viking battle here with a little bit of micro. Uh, the Vikings actually going to survive, so no, uh, no big deal there. We'll see the Seeker missile come out, and uh, is it going to be doing enough damage here? It looks like, uh, I don't know. I don't think that has actually happened, although it does do 100 damage either way. And won't figure out until you do that. So they are they're trying to feel out the map. And that is what I kind of love about Imba League is sometimes it works as intended. Sometimes it doesn't work as intended. And you just kind of have to roll with the punches. And that is why it's called Imba League, guys. It is not called absolutely best balance game ever league. That's, uh, I feel like Blizzard does a relatively good job of that on their own. Probably much better than I would ever do, that's for sure. But uh, either way, Bunny does have another command center on the way. He is going to be a little bit supply blocked right now and uh, does have more and more supply depots on the way, so should be just fine. Hellion's got to go ahead and move out. And I really, I mean, do Marines lose this battle right now? We'll just have to wait and see. Bunny being careful here, though, he might have to start splitting and uh, realizes I should probably go ahead and back out. Notice how he kept the Marauders in front to absorb some of those shots, and that's exactly what he's going to do right here. He does have stim pack, but does not have Marauder slow. That is something to remember there. Uh, although... Total is halved, so uh, UPS not Imba, right? I I don't know. I don't know, guys. Uh, we shall see. Oh, he's saying, uh, so up's not Imba, right? So he's talking about the attack upgrades. So it looks like right there he is at minus 3.5. Yes, yeah, so it actually, once you upgrade it, it still uh, halves it. Man, QXC, he is going into theory crafting mode. I don't know. I don't know if healing is halved. Probably not, which is actually kind of hilarious. Uh, no, it is not. It doesn't look like. It looks like it is actually at full there. So, we shall see if the Battle Cruisers can actually make anything happen here. Uh, this is the world's slowest battle taking place. Da -da -da -da. Da -da 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 -da. It's really the music that should be playing. Zero damage. Sup? As QXC literally takes no damage there. And I feel like these could actually be repaired as well. Point Defense Drone is going to go down. And I think what Bunny's going to have to do, yeah, throw down more Starports, start working on Vikings, and try and do that. Uh, basically, it's going to be an air versus air battle. He's actually going to attack right now with these. The Heliots here taken. Oh, well, normally I would say a lot of damage, but that is absolutely not the case. Ah, one Marine gets taken out there. But uh, if nothing else, it does allow these players to retain their units for a very, very, very long time. It actually looks like we may be seeing maxed out armies for both these players before anything really happens. The Marine drop over here, able to kill off two SCVs even though he dropped it directly to the middle line. Got to try and focus down the uh, the Oracle here, but I don't think that's really going to be doing all that much. Uh, there's going to be the versus light, minus 9.5. 
as a lot of the Hellions will actually go down here, but more of the Marines seem to be getting taken out right here. Both players, though, have lost quite a bit in these engagements, and Bunny is going to be expanding on this. And keep in mind, Planetary Fortress probably really, really good in this, as uh, they're not going to be taking any damage. Yes, they'll be dealing out less damage, but they can just be mass repaired much, much easier. So is the pure raw power of Marine Marauder going to pay off, or is going for mass Battlecruiser the way to make it happen? We are about to find out. QXC has lots of Battlecruisers on the field right now. This may be the one time that Battlecruisers are actually effective and are actually a little bit scary, because in standard StarCraft 2, they just simply are not. I mean, yes, they have some use, but not very much. Ooh. Yamada Cannon, that might actually be worth it if it does full damage. We'll find that out together. But uh, either way, both players are going to be securing lots of bases right now. Marine Marauder kind of moving out on the field to really see if they can find a location to attack. 2-2 two, two is actually going to be done. We'll see if that ends up paying off or not. It is now 4 damage from Marines. That BC drop defense, and we shall see. Yep, he's talking about this. Can't really get in there because of, uh, actually, QXC's playing this out really smart. He's going to be turtling quite heavily. And remember that the missile turrets just aren't going to die, given they do half damage as well. But I feel like buildings are actually kind of really, really good in this. And I think that's why also Mirror Matchup is kind of the most hilarious way to do this. There's going to be a Monacan. That does not do half damage. And uh, I don't think so, anyways. I think that actually killed that off in one shot. So this army trying to get out of there. So mass battle cruisers may be the way to go here. Feedback would be quite handy, but I feel like uh, I feel like battle cruisers are completely OP right now. And honestly, I think that Bunny's going to have to figure out a way to deal with those battle cruisers directly. May have to land these Vikings. We'll see. And yet, he is going to go ahead and land those. And really, he just needs to counterattack right now. Morio Monacan is coming out. That's going to kill off the Vikings almost instantly. Uh, EMP might also be useful right now. He does have tons more Vikings on the way, though, and needs to be chasing Sullivan's around. They're actually trapped back here, so it looks like the Vikings might be doing okay right now. And uh, even though this is going to be a slow battle, the Vikings should still end up winning this, although it may just be bringing up more and more supply for, uh, for QXC to uh, make more battle cruisers. Exactly what he's going to try and do. One command might actually go down, though. This many Marine Marauder with this many upgrades, even though they can't kill the uh, battle cruisers themselves, they are going to be starting to kill off some of these workers for the first time we've seen in this game. And the Hellions got to be retreating back. But really, the mobility now of the Marine Marauder really got to start kicking. He needs to call this planetary force done upgrading. Normally, it would be dead by now, but uh, it is going to take a little bit. You can still see Marine Marauder does tons of damage. That's going to start burning down and uh, does actually manage to repair it right there. So Bunny, even though he has no hard counter for these battle cruisers right now, now, at least he's forcing QXC into a defensive position. Now he has more time to retreat. His Marauders, even though they're low on HP, they aren't going to be taking that much damage. So there's going to be an attack over here as well with just a couple of Marines trying to finish off the uh, command center. Might actually get that command center. I don't know if there's any SCVs in position going to be able to protect it. These two trying to repair. No, they're not. They're, they're going to completely ignore that. So that command center should be dead. The one Marauder over here trying to be a hero. And he actually does manage to kill off one, surprisingly enough. That other command center has died, though. So, honestly, Bunny has managed to even this up. They're actually tied in the resources lost. Absolutely tied, actually. Uh, about as evenly tied as you can be. And for now, the Valkyries for QXC will see if uh, Mass Valkyries is going to be up because he will get one volley of Yamada Cannon. It does cost 100 energy, so maybe two volleys. But is that enough versus Mass Viking? That is the real question here. We do have, I think, better upgrades actually on the way for Bunny as what did the Battle Cruiser Oh, they already have three armor. Oh, no, we do not have better upgrades for Bunny. He's actually just trying to play catch up right now. Did not realize that armor upgrade was so soon. And uh, we'll see here if this actually ends up working out or not. Oh, my God, so little damage. Uh, I think what he's going to need to do is just keep powering those. Oh, my God, Secret Missile, though, might be the answer here. That's going to be a lot more damage than they've taken previously. Still not nearly enough, though, as he's trying to retrieve these Vikings. Normally, this is the hard counter, but considering Battle Cruisers don't take as much damage, it actually gives them time to do the Omada Can. That's doing basically no damage. That was like one damage per shot. The Marauders are still alive though. Once again, killing off this base up here. And QXC got to try and go for it. He does charge it up. He's uh, firing his laser, that is for sure. And does scare the Vikings away for now. I think Raven Viking might be the way to go here. Also throwing down random missile first. That's kind of cute and kind of awesome. There is going to be the counterattack up here though. The SMEs could try to engage, but he actually decides to flip these Marauders quite well and Ah, I'm actually not sure he's going to win this battle. Those uh, Marauders are very, very low on HP. At the same time, though, there is going to be another attack down here. Lots of micro, but only killing off one Hellion there. I feel like units that do not require micro might be the best way to go. This is the slowest battle I've ever seen. 
This is basically if everyone were to make sentries in a game. This is about how StarCraft II would look. We do have the Corvid Reactor as well. Uh, right there, increase the starting energy of Ravens by 25. I think him going Mass Raven uh, is going to be an ideal choice here. So QXC looking to be in great shape. Bunny, though, just continuing to power those Vikings. He's hoping that it's going to end up working out. But uh, I think he needs those damage upgrades so badly. They just seem so, so important uh, to go ahead and get those upgrades. They are at minus 8 and minus 6. And uh-oh, the Vikings right now got to try and make it happen. I mean, it is so little damage here that nothing is going to die right away as that just does so little damage. It's actually absurd. Marines trying to join in the fun as well. Really, these Marines are kind of sacrificial at this point, but here come the Yamada Camps. Got to be killing off more and more and more Vikings. The Corbin Reactor is almost done. Keep in mind that it is only starting energy, so the current Valkyries on the field are not going to benefit from this. But uh, the Viking count for Bunny is pretty hilarious here. So it looks like maybe going Sky Terran is the way to go with Missile Turret sprinkled everywhere. So those Vikings are actually extremely limited as to where they can actually go, which is, uh, I would say, QXC adapting to Emba League. I think he's actually a, a really smart player for this type of map because he is reacting. He's being very aggressive with his Missile Turret placement, and he's going for Mass Balacruiser, which is obviously proving to be quite effective here because there's just nothing to do enough damage there except for maybe trying to get Balacruisers of his own, which you can see the Fusion Core is on the way. Lots of of upgrades on the way though and I feel like Bunny's strategy right now is to try and do counterattacks with Marauders and uh, basically try to hard counter with the Vikings whereas QXC is just trying to go for a big power play right now and uh, if a Seeker missile ever lands on that cloud that is not going to be pretty. I think QXC definitely pulling ahead right now. There are Marines mixed in but I don't know if there's any counter to, to mass battle cruisers with the uh, with the all units do half damage. So we'll just have to wait and see as the game progresses forward. Lots of Marines moving forward. We'll be able to kill off one of those missile turrets. Probably go ahead and back up. That's exactly what he's doing. If you can get those Marines in there, maybe they'll be able to help out. But uh, really, it's going to be tough. Uh, Bunny now, though, does have his own battle cruisers on the way, so he could be seeing some silliness take place. As uh, really, this is why I kind of love Imba League is the amount of ridiculousness that you see is quite high. Now, it does look like some Marines over here will get taken out and uh, taken out quite quickly. But at the same time, some of these missile turrets are going to go down as well. So here comes the Vikings right now. They're bombarding as much as they possibly can. He actually has enough now to start scaring these battle cruisers at least a little bit. Marines joining in as well. Stem on the Marines. I don't think it's still enough to kill off that much, but Marines are basically free at this point. The main problem is that I think he needs to do drops, but uh, I'm actually kind of curious on the income tab here. Uh, if we take a look at that, Bunny is actually way ahead on the income tab as QXC has focused all of his supply on units as opposed to uh, workers here. So actually, even though Bunny's losing more, he can actually produce a lot more as well. Looks like he's going to go ahead and kill off more and more Hellions as well, which honestly keeps his Hellion count low. Uh, I, I think that is going to be good for him, although Widow Mines are on the way. I'm kind of curious to see if the Widow Mines do half damage or not. I don't think they will. I don't think they will. Widow Mines might actually be the answer here. I think QXC may have found the Imba part of Imba League. He's going to be putting Imba into Imba League, and uh, that is actually going to be amazing for him. If he can pull that off, those Widow Mines will be devastating. But you can see, it just seems like QXC is always one step ahead. He's like, you know what? I'm going to rush the Battle Cruisers. I bet Marines will be worthless. Uh, you know what? I'm going to throw down Missile Turrets to counter the Vikings. You know what? I'm going to go for Widow Mines because maybe they don't do half damage. QXC always one step ahead, and I'm curious to see if Bunny is able to keep up with that and start adapting his own play style here. This is where Emily starts to get a little bit interesting, is that uh, those Widow Mines might be way OP, but at the same time, Bunny could have used them as well. So uh, kind of keep an eye on that. One Battle Cruiser actually goes down. Oh my god, this Missile Turret does six damage, but it's basically none. I think it is actually doing one damage to that Battle Cruiser. So the Battle Cruiser do have six armor. Six armor. Keep in mind that armor is not halved. It is just the damage here. So we're going to be having a straight on battle here. That Valkyrie is taking all of the heat right now. There is going to be the counterattack going down here at the same time. And uh, Bunny realizing, all right, I can focus a couple of these down, but I've got to be careful. He is killing quite a few. Overall resource loss starting to catch up here for Bunny. If he can chase these down, but at the same time, he's going to have to deal with Widow Mines now. And I think that this is a full-on tech switch from QXC. He is abandoning all hope with the Battle Cruisers and instead is going to be going for Widow Mines and, uh, and Vikings, I guess, to try and get a little bit of air supremacy. Maybe try and bait those units into the Widow Mines. We're actually going to wait and see. And actually, we will see right here. I think Widow Mines are going to be able to kill these off. I think Bunny's going to realize, uh-oh, they may not be, uh, they may not do half damage. So we shall see. I might actually tell them 
Oh, Secret Missile's coming up. That should be some decent splash damage. Obviously, it's not going to look like a lot because Valkyries have so much HP there. But uh, we shall see. I'm kind of curious on these Widow Mites here. They do kill off SCVs quite easily so far, it would appear. Uh, we'll have to keep an eye on that and see if it actually does half damage or not. I don't think that it does, though. That's the thing. And the Marauder's going to be running down here. Can they actually kill these off, though? We shall see. Is it lots of splash damage? Yes, it is. I, I believe that that is not half damage, so even with the scan, I don't think it's going to be able to kill these off here. So Widow Mines may be a little OP. I think that uh, Bunny might have to react by going Widow Mines as well. So doesn't look like half damage Widow Mines. So we'll see if Bunny decides to go for that as well. I'm just giving a little bit of pointer as a little bit of pointer action, and he might actually be able to react in time. But here we go. These SCVs actually looking very, very dangerous. And goodbye, SCVs. It was not well. Well, maybe they are. Maybe they are half damage, because that should have killed those SCVs. Wait, maybe they are? SCVs didn't die. So maybe they aren't. Uh, maybe they are half damage. I don't know. That was kind of weird. We, sh we shall see, though. Let's see. They don't normally. That's a lot of shots, though. Wouldn't that be enough splash damage to kill them off? Uh, I guess it did bring it down to exactly five, which is a little bit suspicious. So we'll see. We'll see here. Uh, I'm actually not sure, but we do have battles happening everywhere. As he's going to go ahead and try and take down the space over here. He actually decides to land the Vikings. So remember, the planetary is going to be doing almost no damage. And uh, we'll be able to kill off this planetary, although it is going to cost him quite a lot. Still scanning over here. Eventually going to be able to kill those off, but he can't do it quickly enough. And this is where, this is why this kind of reminds me of Brood War, is lots of battles happening everywhere. Like, look at this battle. Oh, my God. What are we even watching? You almost never see stuff like this in actual StarCraft 2 with this battle happening as well as multiple other battles going down in the middle of the map. QXC is going to be throwing out the uh, Secret Missile. Should have ran that into that army to try and detonate it. But uh, we'll just keep an eye on this battle as it is not going anywhere anytime soon. Over here we do have the One Marine trying to take down the Missile Turret. Uh, he actually does about two damage per shot there. So finally cleans up those Widow Mines over there. Uh, still this battle taking place on the right side. And... I got to say that uh, maybe a TBT was the worst matchup to do for this one. But hey, at least we get a good showcase of what it's like when all units do half damage. And uh, is going to go ahead and take that out. It does look like going to be able to take out these Widow Mines as well. And I believe that the Widow Mines are actually a good play here. We do have more Battle Cruisers going to be on the way for QXC. This base will eventually fall, especially once it starts to burn. Oh, my God, there's SCVs repairing it, so maybe I lied. Here comes the Ravens, though, with point defense throw. It's going to be tough to deal with them while those Battle Cruisers eat up those points uh, defense throws quite quickly. Needs to spread out as much as he possibly can. Ah, one hit does land. QXC now switching back to Widow Mine Raven Battle Cruiser. Quite the uh, unique quite the unique uh, build that he's going right there. He uh, looks like Bunny decided not to go for Yomata Cannon. He does have a lot of Battle Cruisers on the way, though. This is kind of the silliest and slowest battle I think I have ever seen. And uh, this is going to give Bunny time to kind of remax up, but I think that QXC has the right idea. Focusing on spells, focusing on things like Widow Mines, they're going to be doing lots and lots of damage here. And uh, Bunny's saying this is great. As uh, the micro of this battle is pretty awesome. It's like we're watching two NPCs battle in a cutscene or something. As uh, they're just going to be exchanging, exchanging numbers, really not exchanging damage. As they're going to be giving each other their uh, their phone numbers. Because they they're quite friendly at this point because they definitely cannot kill each other. I think that QXC finally has enough to break through this. And that might actually be it for Bunny. Um, I mean, Bunny has lots of money, uh, which totally rhymes. But I don't know if he has the income. No, he doesn't. QXC, where are those mules at? That is the real question. There we go. Oh, my God. 19 mules on the field. We do have seven for Bunny as well. He is still continuing to send over Valkyries. They do so little damage to each other. You can see how how slow this actually is. Vikings may be the better option here. Uh, it's 17 minus 8.5. So 8.5 damage overall. These ones, yeah, definitely not that great. So I think this is actually going to be it. Uh, a lot of people request this. Thor... Still pretty good uh, at killing off those Marines because even though he does half damage, it's still half of 33, which is uh, still pretty nice. And I think this story is going to get taken out right now. So should be able to kill off that. So QXC really trying out all the units here, which I can't really blame him. Widowmine may actually be the correct answer here. I think that Bunny uh, is running out of options. Um, he's going to be able to get remaxed out, but I don't know if Vikings are actually going to be the correct choice here. There is going to be a Marine Marauder ball moving down back here. And we'll be able to do quite a bit. Here comes the Widowmine marching forward. He might actually be able to kill it off, though. Nope, it burrows way too fast. 
does kill off that Marine as well. These units, though, uh, will be able to continue to harass us. If nothing else, it is slowing down mining. I think QXC might have enough here to push. If you mix in uh, maybe a Thor or two, but I don't know. His, his Sky Army is looking quite ridiculous. And we'll be able to scare this army as well. Bunny really trying to do everything that he possibly can here. And uh, still 200 APM to try and make this uh, happen for him. But at this point, I still think QXC has got the right answers here with the Widowmine Battlecruiser Raven to uh, Viking. And if you ever find yourself in this position, you kind of know what to go for. Oh, God, that's going to be devastating. Huge damage there on the Marines and Marauders. The Widowmines, uh, keep mind, are actually really good now because they get directly to the army. Seeker missiles, oh, my God. Oh, there's so many Seeker missiles going to be chasing that and exploding everywhere. But still, uh, Bunny still remains in this game. He's trying to harass over here. The Widowmine doing its best. He doesn't only have the two kills, though. And uh, the Ravens, are those QXCs? Those are Bunny Ravens. They're actually going to get taken out here as they're kind of chilling out on the wrong side of town. As long as QXC keeps reinforcing this, I think that uh, he can actually have this. He's going to be killing off one of the only mining bases. We do have the base down the bottom left side, but uh, this other base is not actually mining. So if he manages to kill this off, I think he's going to be A-OK. -okay. Although the mass repair is going to be proved, uh, proving to be quite annoying. So if you ever wonder what half damage is like, uh, if you're really bad at StarCraft, you should definitely check it out because, hey, it takes a lot longer to die. Oh my god, that mass repair. That mass repair is way OP. But he doesn't actually have that much money, though. So I think losing that might be uh, his only option. Lots of auto turrets do come up as well. Do they do half damage? Yes, they do. And got to be doing as much damage with these as he can. The majority of them are in range. I think QXC is doing just enough damage, though, to slowly get Bunny further and further behind. He is actually going to try and save this right now. Keep in mind that this is in the red, which is going to burn down much quicker than a normal uh, normal amount of damage. Ah, the Widowmine's going to be winning as well. Bunny doesn't look right now. He's going to lose them, but the Seeker Missile actually kills off a lot of them with the Friendly Fire Splash damage there. And uh, still doing quite a bit of damage. Here come more Seeker Missiles. Dumata Cannon's going to be coming on up. And it does leave Transfer on the left side, has been killed off. Is this getting repaired though? No, it is not. It is slowly burning down. More and more Seeker Missiles got to be landing from QXC. Bunny managing to stay maxed out just because of how slowly units actually die. What is that Banshee doing? Uh, apparently just hanging out. He's got a Death Witch. I think though that this might get taken out if Bunny does not pay attention. There's going to be the scam. More Marines come in here to try and finish the job. That is going to be a non-stop battle over there. And uh, we might just have to call this a draw if one of these players ends up getting tired. Although QXC is still harassing, that's the thing. Is he's managed to kill off lots of workers, 58 although to 77 overall. That is uh, that is quite a lot. The base actually gets saved here. QXC trying to throw things everywhere. Maybe throwing down widow mines everywhere is the best option. I honestly don't know what the best option is at this point. We got seven battle cruisers on the way for QXC. He may just switch it up to mass battle cruiser right now. And he may be saying Husky was already doing that. Well, he has tech switched like a hundred times, so both these players are still completely maxed out. Seeker Missile coming out, kills off that poor Marauder. Oh my god, can Bunny, can Bunny actually put on enough pressure here to start doing some damage? He's got these two Marines down here. They're unable to kill the auto turrets. We have blinking things going everywhere. This is actually basically madness at this point. Uh, we have some Sparta action going on. Marines, that might be enough here to counter these battle cruisers. I don't know, with the, with the Vikings mixed in. And no splash damage being dealt on the Marines. Ah, they way over Stim though. They're super low on HP. Oh, God. I, I'm getting a little bit tired, guys. I probably want to go ahead and take a nap. But you kind of get the idea. You kind of get the idea on how difficult this is. I feel like Size Storm would be way OP. Actually, High Templar would be the most OP unit, I feel like. Uh, just because Feedback and Size Storm would just be doing massive amounts of damage versus basically everything. QXC, though is uh has recovered the one marauder over here just doing hardly any damage they're attacking the most worthless building in the game and this command are going to attempt to land over there i wonder if nukes might be a very viable option nukes might be pretty darn good i'm just gonna say well he's actually moving out right now so I, i'll i'll recommend it if this battle is not enough to actually kill him off he's got to be moving up here he has a vastly superior army actually these units are damaged a lot as well once one or two seeker missiles is going to be able to end that we shall see though does qxc have the resiliency does he have the skills and the mindset and just the the, the pure raw power we are about to find out he's going to be moving up here to uh oh my god here comes the the pain train though the marauder is unable to really do anything are there is there enough energy for seeker missiles yes there still is but he's going to be yamada cannoning on the vikings and auto turrets coming up as well that's going to help clean up those marines i think that qxc has done it as uh, bunny is actually running completely out of money and there's going to be the gg 
as uh, QXC is going to be able to win that. And let's go ahead and I think, yeah, there you go. I think we have to uh, we have to both leave. But QXC is going to be your victor. I'm going to be putting their links down below, so definitely go check them out. Check out the grass over here. Army value for QXC, always just a little bit ahead. Uh, resource collection rate all over the place. Um, upgrade spending all over the place. Workers active, a slow decline there. But uh, either way, a big thanks to the players. And uh, if you guys have any recommendations for any more Imba League, definitely post the link down below. Hope you guys enjoy, and I'll see you guys next time.